Hey folks, Chris from Drift Outfitters here with you. And today we're going to talk about swinging for Great Lakes salmon. These salmon are a terrific sport and readily available to us. You can find these fish all through the months of September and October in just about any river that empties into the Great Lakes. To target these fish today, we're going to use an eight or a nine weight rod. This could be a single hand rod, a switch rod, or a spay rod. You can really use whatever you like. Uh, the same rig that you use for nymphing, you can absolutely use for swinging, which is great. You can really have a versatile setup when you're out there. You want to fish a floating line to begin with with these setups and then off of there you'll most likely want to use a sink tip of some kind. Now the type of sink tip is going to vary depending on your line setup whether, whether that is a single hand switch or spay rod but we find the airflow poly leaders are great for all three styles of setups. Um, you want to have a couple different densities with you when you're out on the water uh, just to match uh, different water flows moving from riffles to pools to runs um, you know and if the water rises or falls you want to have a couple of options here. These are the eight foot salmon steelhead poly leaders that we're using on the single hand uh, setup today. We find these are a really nice mix of being long enough to be effective in getting your fly down, uh, but still very manageable and easy to cast on a single hand setup. Typically this time of year the water is not very high so you shouldn't need any tips that are too too heavy. Uh, typically an intermediate, a slow sink and a fast sink poly leader will cover you for most conditions. From our poly leader, which is just looped right onto our line as a regular leader would be. These leaders end in a small section of nylon monofilament line, which we've tied a perfection loop into, and then we've looped on a length of tippet. This is a 12 pound fluorocarbon tippet. You'll want to use a relatively heavy breaking strength tippet for this purpose because the takes are going to be hard. These are large fish averaging anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, um, and you, you want to make sure you're not going to break off on that take. The tippet section, as you'll notice, is not very long. This is actually on the longer side of what we had typically run. This is a, you know, around five and a half, six feet. Um, you can run your tippet anywhere from four feet on the shorter side up to maybe as long as eight feet, depending again on water conditions um, and other factors there. On the end of our tippet, we have our fly. In this case, we have a black hobo spay. Uh, your, your patterns don't need to be heavy. Again, this is a low water time of year where you don't really need a very heavy fly to get down. Something non-weighted or very lightly weighted will be plenty for you. And the fishing is very, very simple with this technique. All I'll do is I'll bring out a little bit of line. I'm at the top of a very nice little run here. And all I'm going to start by doing is making a cast roughly 45 degrees cross stream. I'm going to hold my line tight and just let that current swing my fly right across the river. By doing this, I'm combing right across the entire river. If there's a fish at that distance, uh, hopefully we'll provoke a response and get a take here. I'll let my fly swing all the way around downstream of me here. And once it's straightened out the bottom of um, I swing here and I've let it hang for a couple seconds to let an indecisive fish maybe make up its mind and take. I'm simply going to take a step downstream like so, or maybe a couple if the water is clear and we think the fish are going to be able to see a fly from a long ways. And we're just going to repeat that process. We're going to cast out again, let it swing across, and by doing this all the way down the river, we really comb through the entire piece of water that we're trying to fish and cover it effectively. Try it out. It's a great way to fish and a lot of fun.